Good morning, good morning. You're listening to Tarver's Tape. Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Boval tonight, Cinco de Mayo weekend. You know, this date is reserved for the cash cow, the big ticket. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's undoubtedly Canelo Alvarez right now in the boxing game. But tonight he steps up to the light heavyweight division. He's facing a Russian uh, international uh, star in Dimitri Boval, uh, a guy who has uh, possessed the light heavyweight championship now going a couple years, few years. He's had eight or nine title defenses. So that makes him a solid, solid champion. You know, uh, but when I look at, at some of his recent fights, man, I have to say that he has some few, a few holes in his game. You know, and I believe Canelo Alvarez is going to be able to benefit from, you know, the fact that he's such a methodical fighter. He stands straight in front of you with no head movement and he's not breaking from the hips. He's not giving any angles. So I think his footwork, his movement will be, you know, his downfall when you look at the things that Canelo can bring to this fight. You know, with Canelo being shorter, that's going to allow uh, Dimitri to have to reach over his body to get to Canelo, you know, with Canelo doing a lot of those head movement feints and breaking because we know Canelo do know how to box and he has impeccable defense. You know, it's hard to crack him with one or two great shots consecutively. And that's what Bavall is going to have to do if he's going to put a dent in Canelo tonight. I mean, uh, I just don't believe uh, Bavall has the power. When you look at it, even though he's the bigger guy, he hasn't had a knockout since 2018. And it was a knockout over a young pup, Sullivan Barrera, you know, back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So uh, even though Bavall has some great wins over some very credited fighters like John Pascal, who's a parental future Hall of Famer, uh, and Joe Smith Jr. And we know he's rugged. He's had, a, you know, some great fights against uh, the likes of Bernard Hopkins. And, uh, and he eventually won the light heavyweight title. So, you know... Can't take anything away from his resume, but when I put it under the microscope with him not having a knockout since 2018, and it looks like he's kind of slowing down a little bit because of his work rate. I don't believe he'll be able to keep up with the pace that Canelo is going to bring, and I think that makes the difference in this fight. You've been listening to Tarvis Tate. Enjoy the fight, and I'll tap back in with the recap. Have a good day.